You ever have that feeling like, I just want to be present with where I am right now, or I want to get to where I'm going. The journey to go from A to B is oftentimes the most uncomfortable part. And that's one thing that I realized about myself recently as we get ready to move to Austin next week. And as I look at the way that I've made transitions throughout my entire life, the middle portion is the most uncomfortable place. And this is a repeatable theme that I see a lot of other people out there speaking about. I think about Gay Hendricks. He talks in The Big Leap about the going from holding a small container to picking up a bigger one. And that there's that moment where I put down the small container and I have nothing in my hand before I pick up the bigger one. That's the most vulnerable time that in-between stage. And I also remember going back to when I was graduating high school, I either wanted to be fully present with where I was in high school or I just wanted to go on to college. I didn't want to be in this weird in-between place that wasn't quite here or wasn't quite there. And it made me think about where does this come up? Where, what is this theme that is so anchored in something that's true to me? And I realized it comes all the way back to rites of passage. Those of you guys who have either not completed a rite of passage with Rising Man or are not familiar with the layout that we have for this, there's three stages. And the three stages are severance, threshold, and incorporation. Severance is that stage that metaphorically is like putting the finishing touches on this chapter of life. Before you get ready to go through this massive transformation, you got to write those last couple of lines before you turn the page and begin a new one. So severance is all about completion. It's all about preparation for metaphorical death and putting an end to this version of the story. Incorporation, the last third stage of a rite of passage is this new chapter. You've opened up a brand new page and you're writing a whole brand new story based off of the last chapters that you had before this, but it's an entirely new one. It's a blank pages full of possibility and all of the room in the world to create moving forward. But there's that in-between stage called threshold. Um, a man named Mike Bodkin, who has been in rites of passage work for several decades, talks about this threshold time as the in-between worlds. It's that beautiful space and, and really magical space of not quite here, not quite there, but just really, really, really being present to what's happening. When we take guys out for fast, this is the four days you spend alone, without food, without contact with other humans, in the middle of the wilderness, completely removed of all the typical distractions we have in our lives. And I realized that I've been in a bit of a threshold time when I think about my transition from California to Texas, where I'm in this in-between stage. And it's the same type of discomfort I experienced on rites of passage adventures that I've been on. It's the same uncomfortable experience I've had when I was going from high school to college and other transitions I've been in before. And so I thought to myself, well, I'm not unique. I'm sure I'm not the only man who experiences this discomfort when in the in-between place. So what do I do? Now that I have the awareness and I see it, ah, there we go. I'm in that in-between worlds. What do I do? The key and what I would tell people who are in that threshold space is to be present, to listen to what's available here. Instead of wishing that I was in the past anchored in something that was more certain or fast forwarding ahead to a future that has a little more certainty and ground to it, can I float in this unpredictable unknown time of not knowing exactly how long that it's going to be? and resisting the urge to move more quickly through it or to regress and go back into a more predictable past. Can I be here? Can I access and extrapolate the wisdom that's waiting for me in this now moment right here, right now, in this threshold space? This is the time in the cocoon where the caterpillar is not a caterpillar anymore, but not quite yet a butterfly. How many times in our lives are we resisting those uncomfortable moments, those transition points that are so valuable and ripe with information, with wisdom, with nuggets for us to gather and glean for future endeavors. And all the while, here I am resisting, wanting to go back or wanting to race forward. Everything inside of me is calling me to be really present right now. So I ask myself, okay, what am I resisting? Well, right now, there's a lot of stuff on my plate. There's a lot of packing of boxes and logistics and final goodbyes to some people who were leaving behind in California. All of these little things that are uncomfortable, but when you add up all of them put together, there's a lot more discomfort. Of course, I'm avoiding these things. Of course, I'd rather rush through it and get to the end. It's like being in a haunted house. 
right? I, I think about this, my son going through his experience of wanting to go into the haunted house. You build up all this anticipation to get in there. There's excitement and then you're in it and all you want to do is get out because of how uncomfortable and scary it is. And then you get out on the other side and you're like, oh man, I wish I would have really leaned into that experience a little bit more. Maybe this applies to you somewhere in your life, whether you're heading into a transition point or you've just left one or there's another transition point waiting for you on the horizon, an opportunity to remember what is this threshold space, this transitional point about? What is it trying to teach me? What is it revealing to me as far as an opportunity to learn a little bit more? Because the temptation is always going to be to regress back to where you came from and avoid pushing through the threshold because you can't skip the threshold, right? You can't skip the transition point. I can't go from, hey, I want this and all of a sudden I'm there. There's a natural journey that must travel through. In rites of passage, you can't just do severance and then incorporation without experiencing the threshold time. And I can't just leap forward into the future and then just be in the future without experiencing what threshold has to offer without going through that transition time. So the invitation is to settle in, dig in your heels, be a little bit more curious. What am I resisting? What's uncomfortable for me about this transition point? Where is there still growth opportunity for me right now so that I can step fully onto the other side of this threshold into the next chapter that I'm beginning to write with every ounce of juice that I could possibly squeeze out of this berry. That's what I'm inviting in for myself right now. <laughs> and that's why this, this Monday morning meditation episode is so therapeutic for me because I'm calling myself out in the moment where I, don't, I wanna either go back or I wanna go forward. I don't wanna be here right now. But instead, I'm gonna look at that and say, well, why? Why don't I wanna be in this discomfort? What, am I, what do I wanna avoid? What do I wanna move through and close my eyes and hold my breath and just rush through the tunnel of this threshold transitional time? What is that thing I'm avoiding? And then of course, leaning into it, <laughs> having conversations about it, putting visibility on it, speaking with other people and letting them know what my process is so that boom, there it is. It's exposed, the air's hitting it and I can move through it. I hope this message is hitting you at the right moment when you need to hear it. If there's anybody else that you know who's going through a transitional time and could benefit from having this perspective, please make sure you share this Monday morning meditation with them. And as always, rise up and claim your destiny. 